I'm Maxwell Sheffield. This is my son, the late Brighton Sheffield. Wait, I know you. Esquire magazine, New York's 10 most eligible widowers? My condolences, by the way. <sighs> you read Esquire? When they list the 10 most eligible widowers, I do. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Well, it looks like a hit to us. Uh... Oh, thank you, Miss Fine. <laughs> Thank you. Any time, Mr. Sheffield. Romeo, duff thy name and take all of me. I take thee at thy word. Call me but love and I'll be new baptized. You know, if I were directing this, I'd go in a whole different direction. Good night, good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Sleep dwell in thine eyes, peace in thy breast. Ah, oh, would I were sleep and peace so sweet to rest. You know, because this lovey-dovey stuff has just been done to death. <laughs> you know? Much better. Yeah, I, I think I'm starting to get the hang of it now. I'm gonna need a lot of coaching. Well, as far as your winning this contest is concerned, we'll sort this nonsense out in no time. Nonsense? Well, Miss Fine, you don't seriously think you actually won, do you? I mean, they were looking for a beautiful teenager. And lovely as you are, you're not exactly a teenager, eh? Well, I remember my graduation a lot better than some people that I won't spell it out for Y-O-U. <laughs> Please, Miss Fine, you don't seriously expect me to believe you beat out hundreds of young girls just because of your kissing prowess? No, I beat them because I happen to be a fabulous kisser. <laughs> don't you think you've gone just a little overboard on the hyperbole? I'm wearing obsession. <laughs> Miss Fine, this is insanity. There's absolutely no way you could have won that contest legitimately. Oh, no? No. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, you asked for it, buster. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I don't know what they'd put in a pink squirrel, but I don't know how squirrels hold on to their nuts. <laughs> okay, doing good. Doing good, doing good, doing bad, doing bad, doing bad. <laughs> Oh, I knew I had a door. Doing good again. She works hard for the money. So hard for the money. She works hard for the money. But she never treat her right. She works hard for the money. That money. She works hard for the money, but she never treated her wrong. Oh, my God. I better color my hair. I better get rid of some of those pantsuits. <laughs> Damn Manny Hall. <laughs> oh, I'll take my makeup off in the morning. <laughs> Maxwell! Maxwell! 
Tissy, what the devil are you doing in here? What am I doing here? What is she doing here? Who? Oh. oh. <laughs> ah, Miss Fine! <laughs> Having that dream again. <laughs> oh, Mr. Smith! What are you doing in your room? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Would you all kindly get out of my room? Oh, I want it. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Does it come in, Navy? It's fine. Wake up. Wake up. It's fine. It's morning. We did it. We did? <laughs> I didn't even feel anything. Oh, but you were great, Mr. Sheffield. Oh, no, no, Miss Fine. I, I mean, you made it through the night without buying anything. Oh, I did. And you know, they say that the first 24 hours are the hardest. So now the worst is behind me. All I have to do is avoid temptation. Hi, Fran. I'm here to set up for the Tupperware party. <laughs> oh, Mr. Sheffield, hold me. Hold me. Oh, Fran, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Maxwell, let me make myself quite clear. I know that there's something going on between you and this nanny person, and I will not allow it. But that there is nothing going on between... Wait a minute. What do you mean, you won't allow it? You are a Sheffield, dear. This woman's not of our class. Oh, that is preposterous. Knock, knock. Oh, you've got to see this. Hello, Dolly, spell down in SpaghettiOs. <laughs> I swear it poured right out of the can. I mean, is that freaky or what? Maxwell, if you pursue this, that, that, I will have no choice but to disinherit you. Well, I don't need your money, Mother, or your approval. And I'll do whatever the bloody hell I like. Oh, don't talk to your mother like that. Miss Fine? Will you marry me? What? Are you out of your mind? Let it get a word in edgewise, lady. <laughs> Maxwell, stop making a spectacle of yourself. Oh, oh, did you think that was a spectacle? Oh, no, mother. This is. <laughs> What are you doing here? Niles told me about the sign. What sign? <laughs> it was a lovely thought, Miss Fine. Care to join me for a picnic? Here and now on this billboard? Uh. Well, we certainly, certainly got the view. Yeah. Oh, good. Lord, don't look this far. So embarrassed. Uh, you know, Miss Fine, you were right. It appears I had forgotten the real meaning of Valentine's Day. But seeing it all from up here reminds me again of what it's all about. Over here, Mr. Champion. Oh, right. Well, I, I meant the billboard. You know, Miss Fine, it's. It's been a long time since anyone's made me feel, well, quite like this. Oh. Happy Valentine's Day, Mr. Sheffield. Happy Valentine's Day, Miss Fine. Don't panic! We're here to rescue you!
Oh, sweetie, I don't remember much about our married life, but I figure there's got to be a reason why this tub is big enough for two. <laughs> oh, gee, I wish that would clear up. Uh, yes, of course, our, um, our married life. Um, I, I know I'm not supposed to jar your memory or anything, but, uh... But... What? Happy 10th anniversary, darling. <laughs> no, 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 I, I can't do this. Look, uh, I'm not your husband. <gasps> oh, my God, we're not married? <laughs> Truth is, I hired you. I'm a hooker? <laughs> That explains my shoes. No, no, you, you're my nanny. You, you take care of my children. But I've got style. I've got flair. How could I become the nanny? <laughs> Everything's upside down. Wait a minute. You're still on Remington Steel, aren't you? I am not Pierce Brosnan. I am Maxwell Sheffield, and you are my nanny, Fran Fine. Now, would you please get out of my bath? Oh, nice try, mister. You get out first. And don't splash me. <laughs> don't stop it. <laughs> don't break my heart. Don't tell me you're with someone. Oh, no, no, no. I am free as a bird, completely on its head. Ah, there you are. Listen, do you remember to set the alarm before we left the house? At the shop now, there were 2,000 people on board. Why do I got a low jack stuffed in my bra? Mr. Sheffield, the white chases are for loading and unloading potential husbands only. Mind me, I just came up for some fresh air. Yeah, I think I'll do a couple of hundred laps in the pool. I think you got your trunks on backwards. The whole string is hanging out over here. Oh, oh um, right. Uh, uh, don't mind me. Carry on. Oh, oh. What the hell was that? Oh, just a little bump in the road. When we hit a deer, we're in the air. Oh, oh you have to picture yourself going along a little country lane with a few dips and potholes. Oh, what the bloody hell was that? Oh, OK, OK. <laughs> Calm down. Ma said to always look at the stewardesses, that they'll let you know when there's something to worry about. Oh, my god! Everybody, stay in your seats! Fast in your seat, oh, oh, my god. Oh, god, I never thought it was going to end like this. I did. I'm finally flying first class with a handsome millionaire. Of course the plane would go down. What else? <laughs> Everybody, now, just stay calm. Everything is fine. Okay. Would you put your damn tray away? You want to get us all killed? Okay, okay. Oh, Mr. Sheffield. Mr. Sheffield, I just want you to know that these last three years have been the best years of my life. Oh, God. My children. Oh, they adored you, Miss Fine. You know, now would be a good time to call me Fran. <laughs> Ow! I love you. Um, that's fine. Be before we go in, I think I should try to explain to you exactly what happened out there. Oh, it's okay. It was all that wine and escargot. These weren't good shoes anyway. <laughs> Oh no, 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 no. Um no. Uh you you know how it is when you're when you're facing death, how you sometimes say things without thinking. No. Ah. It's fine. I thought we were spending our last moments on earth together up there, and so that's why I um <clears throat> you know, said the thing. The thing? Yeah, you know, that, that I felt that way at that time in that place. 
Oh, my God, you're taking back the thing? Please, Miss Fine, I mean, in the heat of the moment, sometimes people just blurt things out. You blurt it prematurely? Are you, are you very upset? No, no, I'll be fine. It's perfectly understandable. Please don't touch me. Oh, excuse me, Miss Fine. Uh, have you talked to Margaret about that little uh, tattoo business yet? Yeah, I talked to her. It's all under control. Don't worry about it. It's taken care of. Where the hell is it? <laughs> My God, bloody Waldo's easier to spot. <laughs> is there anything else I can do for you? No, 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 no. Absolutely nothing. No, I'll just, uh, I'll just be getting off. Uh, <laughs> along. <laughs> The guy is obviously so turned on by you. What's taking him so long to make a move? Oh, you know, he's afraid that the kids will suffer if it doesn't work out. He is just so afraid of change. Why do you think I stay 29? You like me Uh, why didn't I introduce... You know, I have three kids upstairs that you are responsible for. There better be a good explanation for this. Is this the woman you're involved with? Hmm? Oh, of course not. This is my nanny. She seems very strict. Now, look here, honey. Hey, we don't need some cheap, floozy, and tight clothes turning his hat around. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Now, it's not what it looks like. Um, we were both at a backer's party. She was a, a guest of the host. I had just a little teeny martini, and I... Wait a minute, why am I explaining this to you? You're not my wife! Oh! Oh! I can't even process that it was so me! <laughs> That's it. I'm going home to my mother. A minute. Oh, I didn't do anything wrong. She's coming here. Oh, Mr. Sheffield. Mr. Sheffield. <laughs> Go. It's fine. I, I, I can't. I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I just can't. Mr. Sheffield, is there something that you haven't told me? Something that might have happened in the Falklands? <laughs> no, of course not. No, I'm talking about this. I'm talking about what we're about to do. It, 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 it just all seems wrong. Well, you know, now I don't know if I'm coming or going. I mean, you keep giving me mixed messages. You act like you want me. Well, of course I want you. You're a very sexy, beautiful woman. You know, now would be a good time to end this argument. <laughs> it's fine, don't you see? Don't you see what we were about to do? It was a very serious step to take. Oh, you're not just a one-night stand. Me? Oh, yeah, no, of course not. <laughs> Look, well, Mr. Sheffield, you know, I always thought that we were going to end up together, but... If it ain't gonna happen now, it ain't gonna happen. No, I didn't say it'll never happen. Well, I think that my chances are only going to decrease as I slowly morph into Yetta. <laughs> Four years. It's enough already. I can't take it anymore. It's too difficult. I'm out of here. I Look, Miss Fine, I am not giving in to my urges. The stakes are far too high. I'm a bloody gentleman after all. <laughs> so, Maxwell. You didn't come alone tonight, did you? Uh, no, Elton, actually, I'm uh, taking the opportunity to use this evening as a sort of um, first date. <laughs> well, that's very flattering, but you, uh, you know I'm involved. <laughs> no! No, no! <laughs> no, 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 uh, no, she's, she's in, the, in the ladies' room. And uh, quite a knockout.
and John, I am such a big fan of yours. Hi, I'm Fran Fine. And that movie, El Tantrums and Tiaras, it's sure to be a classic. Um, Fran. Yeah? You look awfully familiar. Have we ever met? Uh, no, 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 that's impossible. A and those glasses, they are fantastic. I'm trying oh, to... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, no. May I see you for a moment? Oh, yeah, just a sec, honey. Tell me, Elton, whatever happened to that Kiki tail? <laughs> now I know why she's so familiar. I have that jacket. <laughs> Mr. Sheffield, I'm back. You wait right there. Don't you move. Don't move a thing. Okay. Oh, how long have we dreamt of this moment? Here we... <laughs> Crazy, that king was coming on to me. Well, of course he was, Miss Fine. Of course he was. Anyone could see he was smitten with you. Wasn't he? Of course he was. He's a man. And unfortunately, some men are just not very good at expressing their feelings. <laughs> and I could see right through that, Sultan. Oh, yes, you'd start as his nanny, all right. You start working for him for a few years, and then eventually be on a first-name basis, and then <laughs> one day he'd come to realize you were more important to him than his work. And then, ha, then he'd tell you he loves you. And uh, when does that happen? Right now. I love you. What? Fran, I love you. Mr. Sheffield! Mr. Sheffield! Mm. Oh. oh, my God! Oh, Mr. Sheffield! Oh, oh you heard what happened! Oh, I got mugged! I was on my oh, no. way home to you, and oh, oh. I'm sorry I'm so late. Oh, that's okay. As long as you're all right, who cares? I should have fought back harder. No, no, no. They say you never fight back. You just give them what they want. You don't argue. You don't get aggressive. They got the ring. I'll kill them. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what ring? Oh, Fran, I wanted tonight to be the most romantic night of your life. I know. I wanted. Wait a minute, my bastards. Wait, wait. Fran. Yes? Will you marry me? Oh, Max. You know, it's all so sudden. <laughs> well, will you? What do you think? Francine, do you? I do. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Do you promise to love and cherish Maxwell in sickness and in health as long as you both shall live? I do. If anyone here can give good cause as to why these two should not be married, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. 
Oh, take it easy. It's just a cell phone. Oh, oh good. Oh, yeah. Hello? Oh. oh, yes. How come you never dropped off my prescription? Oh. Oh, really? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, goodbye. Oh, my God. I'm pregnant. Just you and me, honey. Everyone else is gone. I'm push, sweetheart. Push! Don't tell me what to do! Push, Fran! Okay, Dr. Reynolds. <laughs> that's it, that's it, that's it, honey. A little more. A little more. Just a little more. That's it. Again, 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 again. Okay, okay, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming, honey. It's coming. Say hello to your little boy. Say hello to <laughs> oh, he's got, he's perfect. He's got like ten little fingers and, and ten little toes and, and the one little... Well, don't you worry, son. From an acorn grows a mighty oak. <laughs> and we're doing a wonderful job. Now I just need one more push to get the next one out and we'll be all done. One, two, three. Three? Did she say three? Who said anything about three? Push, push! push she, she said it. <laughs> Get him away from my mother. Uh, 